Memang satu Wait. Yo. Sup? Aku lapar gila tu. But then like there are these two loaves of bread with sini. I mean, I can't decide. I mean, they look the same, but like which one should I choose? Well then. I guess you just have to find out. Let's go. Q intro. Welcome to the world's most important reviews, where we review generic everyday items that you might use in your daily life. Our job is to keep you informed about your daily products that you probably don't think much about. So let's get to it. Welcome to another episode of the world's most important reviews. We're back here at Restricted Movement Order Day. I don't God know. knows what. Who knows? Who cares? The All I know is you know, I'm like going crazy right now. We're talking about bread today, okay? All I know is We're talking um, about bread. I look like shit. We both look like shit. Oh well. Anyway. Okay, so today in front of us right now we have two of the leading bread companies in this country, in Malaysia, Gardenia and Massimo. We'll be talking about these two products today. So in the meantime, I want to know the number one question is why is everyone going crazy over Gardenia? You'd be surprised. People actually prefer Massimo right now. Today. What? Yeah, I mean because over the years, yeah, before this, people have been trusting Gardenia for years and years now, and it's suddenly a game changer. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Aku tak pernah nampak orang gaduh ataupun buat bising pasal Massimo. It's always about Gardenia. Well, there are a lot of reasons why people actually prefer Massimo now, because like from a price point of view, both of them cost the same, right? depending on which shop you get it. I got mine for two forty for both of them. So let's go into the first one. All right, which is Gardenia. All right, so Gardenia. I think you're familiar with the slogan Uncle Slocum's recipe. Okay, a brief history about this company. Um, it was founded by a baker named Harvey Sai Slocum. He was, he came to Malaysia around 1916. So wait, wait, wait. The, the founder is not a Malaysian. No, the founder is not a Malaysian. The founder is an American. Um, he came to Malaysia in the year 1969 with about 35 years of experience. All right, so. On the year 1986, the first loaf of gardenia bread was produced. That was and a long time. That was a 1969 to what? 19 1986. That's a long time. So he perfected the recipe and made the first loaf of gardenia bread. And within four years, 90% of the population in Malaysia knows what gardenia is. It is it's such a strong bread. Millionaire. Yeah, basically he is. I, he's probably dead. I mean, I, I don't know whether he's <laughs> alive or dead. Now. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look into this gardenia. Alright, so this is this is uh, this is sister company of Massimo. Uh, Massimo. 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 This is what you look for, obviously, in the morning. Yeah. Unless you look for nasi lemak lah. Oh. Not me. I mean, I mean, no judging. You know, yeah. it's cultural. Okay, so uh, over here you can see in the exterior they are like white and uh, red and blue patterns. So this reflects the American origin of the bread. Not Malaysian. Not Malaysian. Okay. Yeah. So on the exterior you can see that they're about. 14 slices in this one. That's all I can say. I mean, this is a very familiar sight for many Malaysians. What does it say at the back here? Ada kalanya ia mestilah roti putih gardenia yang sungguh lembut. Mentega dan kaya, roti bakar dan jam. Oh, let's just taste it already, okay? My god. This guy does not have any appreciation for art. You're a Philistine, that's what you are. Smell it, shit. Ooh, I, I know you like to smell it. I know he likes gardenia a lot. All right, so it smells like an ordinary loaf of gardenia bread. It smells like bread, yeah. It smells like bread. I mean, what do you expect it to be like? And visual-wise, you have the top piece over here, and you got the rest of the loaf. And it is the thing about gardenia that I personally don't like is you know how artificial it is. It's it's so white. I mean, they have wholemeal varieties of it, but it's pretty dense, isn't it? We shouldn't, shouldn't be holding bread like this. It's okay. It's, it's cool. No one else is gonna touch it. 
it's light. I mean, you can say that it's thin. I'm not sure how thin it is compared to my Simo, but is this affordable? I mean, how affordable is this? Two forty, two forty, depending on the store that you go it's to. It's two fifty. Tengok lah, kalau kau beli, it's cheaper. It's kalau... two fifty. It's two forty where I got it. It's okay? two fifty. It's two forty where I got it. What? I don't know lah. <laughs> well, it smells like bread. Okay, let's give it a taste test. All right. Can, can, you, can you taste it like how you did in the video? Some people for a month. I, cheers. Um, okay, cheers. It tastes plain. Well, I, I didn't get the ones with raisins on it. Tapi... No, I mean, despite it being taste, despite it being very plain in taste. I mean, there's a certain taste to make to makes you feel like you can eat this on its own. Yeah, you can definitely eat this on its own. I mean, back then when I was a kid, I would this eat this on its own if I don't have any like butter or kaya, not makaran kaya. No, bro. If you, I swear to God, if you toast this, you can eat it on its own. Honestly, uh, even if you don't toast it, it's, it's really good. Yeah, on its own. It just is a mm. certain flavor to it that allows you to like you know enjoy it mm -hmm. as a plain piece of white bread. Well, taste wise, I mean, it tastes like gardenia, but we're so familiar with this taste. I don't know how a company can suddenly overtake the popularity of this brand. It's about there's no way. So oh, we're used to this. Sit up, right? I mean, it's good, right? Yeah. Enough of gardenia. We ate a bit too much. We're not supposed to be yeah, eating this much. We're not supposed to be eating as much. Let's go to its competitor now. Massimo. So, this one over here. It's a relatively new brand founded in 2011. And yet somehow can become a competitor to Gardenia. So we're talking about 1986 versus something that was produced in 2012. All right. And you think they don't have a chance against the OGs. So it's a sister company of the Federal Flour Mills, I think. I think so. FFM, which is one of the biggest flour producing companies in the country. And they founded this in 2011. It represents Italian craftsmanship. <laughs> well, clearly you can see there's a total difference in packaging in compared to Gardenia. Mm -hmm. Look at the colors. It's green, white, and, and red. red. So what does that signify? Well, there's a story behind this, okay? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, it, obviously green, red, and white represents the Italian flag. And this company promises Italian quality bread. Italian quality. What, what is the difference? Italian quality, well, they combine uh, a traditional method of making bread and the modern machinery. Okay. So basically, they retain the Italian ingredients, mm -hmm. but mass produce it. I see. Yeah. And despite all that difference, it's still very much affordable. Yeah, it is. It's 2 ringgit 60 cents. Although this one has 12 slices in it, and the gardenia bread has 14 slices. Uh, I don't. I mean, I know it does not seem like a much, like a huge difference. But then they they cost about exactly the same. But this one uh, offers less number of slices of bread. But oh well, you know sometimes they say that quality does not equate to quantity, or is it the other way around? We shall find out right Let's now. find out. Let's open it up. So first See of all, outside all. as he uh, explained just now, it's definitely different compared to the Gardenia packaging. The colors resemble the Italian flag. How about the scent? Is there a difference? I can't tell really. <laughs> Some is it can. Actually this one, it does not smell, it, there's not much smell to this. The intensity of the smell is much less than the Gardenia, yeah. to be honest. I mean, I ain't got no PhD in breadology or something, but like... Breadology. Like, that's it. It's a word now. It's not an actual but, but there is a slight difference. I mean, we look at the slices of bread. Ah. Uh, whoa. This is... Whoa. This is thick. This is a thick slice of bread. Shit, you not. This... There is a much larger but that, right. but that way, serious but that. I mean, if you compare to this, my 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 my, I mean, I took a bite, but like, there's no difference, lah. <laughs> honestly, this is more sturdy. It's heavier, right? Massimo is sturdier, heavier, and I'm pretty sure it will be great to like spread something on it. Yeah, you can see like grains of wheat or whatever over there, and then uh, over here it's like purely white, which is why this feels a lot more processed. Well, than this I'm one. serious, gardenia. It's very flimsy. Yeah, it is. It's very flimsy. This retains its shape. But this, 
it's thicker. It's sturdy, man. It's sturdy. Yeah. Honestly. Man, okay, we gotta taste this. I huh? believe sandwiches would go great with this. Mm. Mm. Obvious taste difference. Much more natural tasting. It does not taste as processed as gardenia is. And True. there's really a bite to this. The texture of the mm. bread is so different. It's like... Honestly, for the... Well, there's not much price difference, but then... 12 slices versus 14 slices for this quality. I don't I, I think I think you can get full with this. Mm. Even though it's two slices well, less. Imagine this honestly. toasted. Dude. Whoa. Oh, this is so good. You want to toast it right now? You want to? Yeah. You should. Okay, let's do this. A few moments later. The, the toaster is broken. Toaster is broken. No more extra content. I'm sorry. But honestly. I could easily say, we could easily say the winner of today's review is Massimo, hands down. Despite him absolutely loving Gardenia the other day. I really love the texture of the Massimo. Yo, this is good. There's an actual flavor to this that Gardenia is lacking, definitely. This proves that quantity does not equate to quality. Exactly. I so, mean, it's a lot. It's arguably Malaysia's um, most, popular, most brand. popular brand, but you know what? I gotta give the props to Massimo. I like so, it a lot. Super underrated. Honestly. This one could easily overtake Gardenia if Gardenia does not step his game, step up his game. Do you agree? Yeah, of course. So we can conclude that today's winner is Massimo. So tell us what you think. What is your favorite brand of bread? Hit your, um, type in your answers in the comment section below. We can't wait to hear from you. Till the next time. Till the next time.